Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the default values in the constructor parameters. So similar to the way where we were passing some default values to the function parameters, you know, in constructors also we can do that. So to demonstrate that in this tutorial, I'm going to define a class. So it's going to be class human and then let's have uh, a couple of properties of access specifier private so let's call it as name and uh, int age all right then we're gonna define the public access specifier public and uh, in that public block we can write our first constructor which is not gonna take any parameters and uh, here we're just gonna say default constructor and let's end this line and here we're gonna initialize our name to no name and uh, our age to a value of zero okay now we're gonna overload this constructor so i'm gonna copy whole thing and i'm gonna paste it in the next line and uh, as a parameter we're gonna make this one to take the name and the age so it's gonna be string name and uh, okay let me call it as i name and also we're gonna have int age okay i age all right here we're gonna say overloaded constructor and uh, here name is gonna be i name and age is gonna be i age so the main thing that we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna pass the default values so here similar to the functions where we were passing the default values to the function parameters we can do that here in constructors also so i'm gonna assign a value of zero to this ih and the next thing or the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a method you know which is gonna print out the values of this name and age so it's gonna be void let me call it as speak up this function is going to display the values of this name and age so it's going to be c out it's going to be name and end this line and again age all right now in our main function we can create an object of this class human to do that we need to write the class name human and then the object name let's say anil and we're going to pass name and age so it's going to be anil and the age is going to be 24 and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to print out or call that speak up function anil dot speak up okay i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this again okay this should be small letter s i don't know why i missed that okay i'm going to save that and build and run it again and it says overloaded constructor anil and 24 and now since we have passed the default value to this constructor what we can do is we can pass only one parameter here that's why i'm gonna remove this 24 the age and i'm gonna save that and i'm gonna build and run it again and it says anil okay i spell it wrong no problem and the age is zero this is the default value taken you know which is passed as as a function parameter and the next thing that i want to teach you is what if we don't have this default constructor and we pass the default values to this both parameters and let's say i name equal to no name and now if we create an object without passing any parameters the program will work just to demonstrate that i'm gonna write only anil here and i'm gonna build and run this you guys can see overloaded constructor no name and zero so similar to the functions we can pass the default values to the parameters of the constructors in c so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial